today we will talk about gear but first intro okay welcome in a new video like you see we are in the company's car and going home but it's a little traffic jam in Zurich and uh, I will take opportunity to say something about gear did we really need to buy new gear every time when uh, something new comes or not everybody knows that gear for, for photography equipment it's expensive and uh, companies every time uh, give us something new and every time it's something better and better and better but did we really need that or we need to work on ourselves my opinion is uh, if you are a landscape photographer definitely you cannot make uh, photos with the compact camera yes you can but it's better with DSLR but if you're a hobby photographer then you don't really need some profi profi cameras then uh, if you're a hobbyist you can take whatever camera you have and make the photos because we know that uh, it's enough to have 4 megapixels that it's enough but if you have camera with 6 megapixel uh, sensor then that it's more than enough today's Every camera it's more than 6 megapixels and uh, yeah, it's enough. Shit. Yeah, 6 megapixels it's more than enough. If we don't make a crash we will continue talking. Yeah. Every photo on internet it's about 4 or 5 megapixels there and social media also and uh, for printing I think 6 megapixels is enough sharpness of fo photo sharpness it's don't depend about how much megapixels you have for the sharp photos you need skills how to get a, a, a sharp photo then don't waste your money on gear but also if you are the landscape photographer you obviously need some uh, maybe full frame camera the full frame DSLR that will be great but of course uh, you don't need to buy the the newest the, the best the I don't know what then of course you can buy some uh, used DSLR with, for I don't know maybe 150 euros dollars francs it's the same today everything and uh, of course the the hardest part of, of, of gear it's objectives uh, from my experience Canon have a second hand objectives which are cheaper than others but also it's, it's good quality of course Nikon is it's expensive a lot but I think you, you, you need to have just maybe two objectives and you are good to go then take some 
second hand DSLR with one objective and just make your skills don't waste money on, uh, on uh, equipment expensive equipment better pay some course some school or, uh, or buy a book or uh, I don't know look at the YouTube videos or listen a podcast about photography just improve yourself that, that's the point I don't I don't think that I am professional photographer I'm hobby photographer and uh, I have just maybe four years of experience that it's not too much and uh, really the gear is not matter what you get I also use a compact camera every day I have a couple of DSLRs which I buy second hand. It's no really no need to buy the newest camera. Or today you have a good uh, option if you have a if you if you save some money for camera, you have a good option that it's a Sony 7. A7 because uh, it's full frame and uh, it's cheap for the full frame camera it's about 1000 Swiss francs or dollars or euros whatever with uh, one objective that objective it's kit objective it's not uh, something uh, profi profi but you can use it of course and practice your skills Photo, uh, good exposure. That it's more important and good idea. Oops. Good idea and uh, yeah, that it's more important that than gear. Of course, if if you have a money to spend or something like that, of course you can buy a new camera expensive camera it's always better to have something new and you can use it uh, a lot of years in the future but if you are uh, if you are just start with photography and uh, you don't have a lot of money then uh, second hand cameras it's good option and not it's not important to be DSLR, you can you can buy compact camera or bridge camera even. That it's also a good option. Just look for your money, what you have, uh, how much money you have, and then uh, uh, what kind of camera you can buy for that money, and uh, just choose the best for your money, and then take that camera. And uh, practice, 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 practice. That's the best what you can make. Yeah. Nowadays it's it's winter time. Then nobody have. A, Also, if you sell the photos on stock agencies, agencies stock websites, there is a, a rule that photo need to be six megapixels or more. Then, if you want to start with that, if you don't want to use your phone, which I don't recommend. you need to look something more than 8 megapixels because 
if you need to crop your photo then for sure uh, it will be go lower with pixels yeah. then choose some nice camera and enjoy photography and don't be obsessed with gear because every time whatever you buy every time comes something newer something let's say better something uh, what uh, every brand says to you you need to buy this you need to buy this you need to buy this actually you don't need to buy yeah it's a lot of second-hand gear on the on the internet which you can buy which you can use but of course the best way to improve your photography is to improve yourself in that area and then your photos will be a lot better maybe if you maybe if you find some uh, websites with the discussion of, of, of some uh, cameras you can uh, use that like advices from that from that website or if you choose the camera which you want to buy you can uh, of course go to the internet you have uh, one good uh, website that is camera decision is the name of the site camera decision uh, there you can compare up to three cameras in the same time then uh, side by side cameras I, I use a lot that website and there is, is uh, very nice explain every option of camera which you choose then this is one uh, short video on the way home and uh, feel free to subscribe because if I have more subscribers, of course the motivations go up and with uh, good motivation will come uh, better videos, will come uh, more quality videos and uh, more information. And of course in, in the comment section you can, uh, you can put some comment what you want uh, which subject you want uh, to hear on this channel maybe I know something about about that and I can explain or help to someone yeah feel free to comment thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video